So hello again. Hi. We need to talk for a second, okay? You have got all the good luck. I do not. Because you know what? We went up to that expo. I had forgotten to bring my ticket, so I didn't even enter into a drawing. He but did. Dee put her one ticket. You actually put the I ticket put in ticket there. In the book, and I know. Into that daggle. No, what did you do? We won. <gasps> we won a sham. Whoa, that's bad. It's focused on my face because that's how focus works. Now it's focused on your face because that's. Oh, look at her. Yep. A gift certificate for a champagne breakfast for two, which is really nice. And he said it could be either tomorrow, uh, which is Freeport Day, or demarcation day. <laughs> I was like peeking around and I'm like, hey. So that's really cool. I it's something you're advertising, so you can get this yourself for okay. uh, purchase. So, so we're going to go it. see how much it would cost. True. Today. So you can that's buy so nice. this. So we'll experience it. And if you think it looks delicious, you can enter to win, or I guess you can buy it. That's the only thing we put in it, because you can pick what right. box you wanted your stuff to go. I said, that sounds nice, and lo and behold. Yeah, I probably would have put mine in the Wi-Fi box had I remembered to bring my <laughs> ticket, but I'm just going to Or a shore it. excursion. That's true. That was a good shore excursion. Oh, yeah, it was our Freeport Beach that we like with the open bar and the buffet. Buffet, and but the food, yeah. Anyway, yeah, but the Wi Fi is $25 for two days. If you buy it ahead of time, sometimes you can get it for 20 if they're having a sale. Yeah. We did, but anyway, and you cannot. Oh, one thing to point out on the Wi Fi uh, Carnival and Royal, with our experience, when you buy a single device package, you can switch it between devices. Like right. we normally buy one and we'll bounce it back and forth between our two phones whenever we want to use it. On here, whatever device you sign into, it's stuck on that device. Yeah. So no switching. Good to note, though. Yeah, so if I want to use the internet on my laptop, I'm thinking I'm going to have to use my phone as like a hotspot oh. and let the laptop feed through the phone. That's smart. I don't know. We'll see how Anyway, works. it's only for two days. It's two days. It's like, hello, I don't even think I'll use my phone. <laughs> so. But it's almost muster time. Yeah. So we're going to go to muster. we got a sail away party. Then dinner. Yeah, really. And, and then, then there's the like live music activities. and stuff. I know. Yeah. This day is almost over. It is. Ooh. That's sad. The two-day cruise, it goes rough ahead. It does. It's already on the spot. I know, because tomorrow we're in Freeport, and the next day we're You're back. back here. Craziness. Wow. Anyway, let's yeah. get ready for Monster. Yep. And that's it. Okay. The end. Woohoo! I know. <laughs> Alright. Bye. We are heading to deck nine for our Monster j -j 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 drill. Yes. Safety first. Gotta do it. And that is us, Crow's Nest Sports Bar. They had clipboards and stuff. Oh well. I guess we're free. It's over. Just waiting now for the uh the pilot to to come aboard, a local number pilot. That's what I missed before. The rock grill and the bull is this little section right over here. I thought it was some special hidden away thing. Yeah, so this actually is where they sell those nice looking burgers. There's the DJ. We got the tunes pumping. We are ready to sail away. volunteered for something else. Those dancing skills get you in trouble. We've 
come back down here to the lobby to check into some things. This is our, well, this is before they started having atriums in the ships. You get like a nice little chandelier light fixture. Hey there! Hello. Again. It's dinner time. Yes. So it's Hungry. just after six o'clock. Dinner opened at six. I think everything is sort of any time, my time, mm -hmm. your time seating. So you just Very show nice. up. Yeah, yeah, no assigned seatings. But yeah, we're excited to check out more food because lunch was really pretty dang on really, good. Everything was flavored perfectly really was. and cooked really well. So we were pleasantly surprised. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Well, that's about it. So we ran down and we actually picked up a shore excursion for tomorrow because we, we had kind of a plan and we were floating and waiting until we got on here. So we went down, kind of got like a little last minute deal on yeah. the shore excursion. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, through the <laughs> ship. And then, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah. But let's roll out to dinner. We're excited. You ready? You yeah. hungry? I danced my booty off. You literally. really did. And you didn't win, which is a travesty. Oh, gosh. It's, it's fine. a shame. It's fine. I would have gotten a Valhalla mama. Yeah, the winners got drinks. Or some, whatever. Well, no, they gave me a specific drink. Sometimes you can pick. Okay. I'm fine. I just need right, food and true. water. All right, let's roll out of here. <laughs> right. We're going to have some delicious dinner. So far, really liking it. I know. Doing all the stuff and all the things. We're trying. In two days. Mm. <laughs> it's a rough life. It's good. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Let's see. Stellar Prime. It says, Dear guest, please wait to be seated. <gasps> uh, is this where food is? Because it's empty. Are we in the right? Are we in the right place? Is it too left? No. Is this where the dining room is? Okay, let's find out because this might not be the right dining room. We're learning as we go, but apparently Stellar Prime is not where we eat dinner. So we're heading up now to Admiralty, which is where one of the crew members said our dinner is. So maybe Stellar Prime is the upcharge restaurant? Huh. All right, so the Admiralty Club then is where we are going to be eating. That sounds like a special place we shouldn't be, but that's what they tell us. Good. Really? I think that's the best cruise ship shrimp cocktail I've ever had. See, that's scandalous right it there. It was large and they were cold and fresh yeah. and the seasoning was perfect. The only wow. thing with the um, cocktail sauce was a little too spicy for Just my for taste, you. but otherwise perfect. So, carnival cocktail sauce better, but you liked everything I else about it. Wow. <laughs> I like to see we have the uh, piano entertainer back there providing the background music for our talkie parts. Yeah, but this is really it good. It really was. I liked everything. There was a little bit of raw onion in the main uh, dish that was mm, kind of threw me off, but everything else was good. Really, really good. good seasoning. I'm impressed so far with the food. Same. I forgot what seasoning was like. I know, right? <laughs> Shh. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go look at some shops. We'll see if they're open. Okay. All right. Bye. We'll do some shopping. The shopping is officially open. I think we're going to bypass Puffs because, I mean, you know, oh, I just tripped. <laughs> so we'll start over on this side of Splurge and make our way through to the other side. They have your turtles oh. and your dolphins. Oh, that's really crazy. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> it's heavy. It's actually a good price. If I had room in my suitcase, I would totally get that. Yeah, true. So everything's pretty much like Bahamas themed. D found something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see if we can focus on that. I love, I love turtles. That's <laughs> you. We both do. <laughs> I do love turtles. Yeah. That's just funny. Yeah, I think D had a very accurate description of this. It's like when you go to a gift store in the Bahamas, like a gift shop. Yeah. This is kind of the stuff you find. You get your rum cake on. I guess they even have, is this hot sauce? Oh, steak sauce, stir fry sauce. Ah. Are you breaking things, ma'am? Ma'am. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. They have leather bags full of party peanuts. That doesn't look like a leather bag. Huh. We've come across into the apparel shop now, of course, to check out Orange Hat. This one's a little more peach, a little more decorative. It's not the brown's color, so I'm probably good with what I have, but you know. All sorts of apparel. There she is with the tote bags. This is a massive tote bag. 
Yeah, so here's the cruise logo stuff. They've got hats, they got t-shirts, they got polo shirts. It even says Grand Celebration on it. That looks, it actually kind of matches you. Um, you have <laughs> red pants and a red anchor and you're very stripy. You just need a blue sweater instead of a black sweater and it's perfect. Gift shop spin. Is she breaking stuff down there? Yeah, she probably is. Knowing her, she probably is. She got her a tote bag. Look at her tote in that bag. Wow. Because I didn't want one of the rope handles. That's true. That is pretty good. And $12. And it doesn't say Mahomes on That's right. It's very, it's very generic. Yes. Very multi purpose. Well, everything else on it was like 25. Right. 12? Yeah. Space, guys. Wow. And it has cute little inside. You could fit so many tacos in there. Why are we putting tacos in my tote bag? I don't. Taco tote? Everybody needs a taco tote. I'm excited. This is great. Hello. Oh, there's no towel friends for me to talk to. You know what? Hello, Soap. You're my good friend, Soap. I like you. Hey, they have pens. Shh, I probably have one in the cabin. I know. I'm not taking a pen. You guys, they have Henry vacuum cleaners on here. Oh, he's so cute. Look, he's so shy. Whoa. So we came back to the cabin to drop off the tote bag. We've got our, I don't know what you actually call it. I'm going to call it a paper. We got our paper for day two. You know, usually they have a name, but. Boom. So let's play What's in Those Cruise Papers. It's our new favorite game. So for this evening, uh, let's see, we're done with dinner. We're down here about now. I think what we've got on the agenda is we know we want to see the main production show. And I think we're going to try to make it to this perfect couple game show. And then probably this glow party. Sounds good. Maybe we can hit karaoke another time because it kind of overlaps. Yeah, let's see what's happening tomorrow. Oh, right here on the front. Yeah, that's right. They have a different uh, production show every night. So Circus Big Top Spectacular is tomorrow night's Ooh, show. Cool. Hey, what was the one for tonight called? Something about Latin? I don't know. Maybe I just made that up. Did I see it? Oh, yeah. The one for tonight is called Paradise Heat. That has nothing to do with Latin. Well. Miami Heat, which is not Latin. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny. They do have laundry service for $25 a bag. Anyway, I'm distracted. <laughs> so we're going to be... We're going to be on an excursion early in the day. Oh, I'm going to miss steel drums. Actually, that's funny. Look at that. There's like all of this is your morning activities. And then here's like two o'clock, three o'clock. So, and here's back on board. So, I don't know what we're going to want to do. There's pool games. Sail away party again at 430 from Freeport. Oh, cool. Yeah, so really not a whole lot going on during dinner time. Other, you know, it's mostly live music. And then we got the show. Uh, more live music. There's karaoke at 10 because there's dance through the decades. But if we do karaoke tomorrow night, uh, maybe we can end up doing some uh, dance through the decades. I don't know. Looks good. So, like I said, not a ton, ton of like, ooh, running all over the place activities. Like, I don't think I saw a single trivia. Was there a trivia on the daytime for tomorrow? Because I really kind of skimmed over the day activities. I know we were kind of excited because if you win trivia, you typically get a Bahama Mama. And so we were going to try to rock on for some trivia. <laughs> I don't think I saw any. Trivia time in the cruise time, 4.30. Oh, 4.30, okay, Let that's, do that. that's, that's doable. <laughs> that's doable. He's like, yes, we're doing this. Side note, we were not crazy in thinking that we were supposed to be having dinner in, uh, what is it called, Stellar Prime. That is normally the dining room, and that's kind of what I had in my brain. But they're doing maintenance on that dining room right now. I said that weird. Maintenance. <laughs> so, really, the dining room where we ate is normally the steakhouse that you have to pay to go to. So, it was weird, because I was like, this, this Admiral dude, that's a steakhouse, right? So, anyway, normally you would eat in Stellar Prime, but we weren't. Crazy. Not not that crazy. Or not Only always that crazy. A little bit crazy. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Well, we've wandered back up to the Luna deck to actually see what's up here for dinner. Oh, we got fruit, Cuban flan, some kind of a thing over there, bread pudding, and fruit cake, no sugar added. What are we working with over here? Grilled fish, chicken cacciatore, <gasps> meatloaf, that's my kryptonite. Mashed potatoes, vegetables, saffron, rice. They know I love meatloaf. There's soup over there. Oh. You would do anything for them. I would. So we won't do that. <laughs> the salad and the bread stations look pretty much normal, but you know what? I might gotta give me a little hunk of that meatloaf. You hear her making noise back here? I don't know. Okay, I might have panicked a little bit. I went up there and grabbed an entire mountain of meatloaf, which I hope is delicious. 
but they looked like they were getting ready to close the buffet line. They put like the blue strip all on the side, like, we're getting ready to shut it down. You can't get any more. So I panicked. I went up there and I was just like, meatloaf. So I'm gonna eat this now. My meatloaf. Okay, it's good. I'm glad I got a mountain now because it's delicious. The CFD approves. It's got good flavor. And garlic mashed potatoes. I approve. So D settled on some fruit and some bread pudding. All right. Let's not try this because I know what fruit tastes like. That's true. Give us a live reaction to some bread pudding. Uh oh. It's very sweet. Very sweet. Well, it is dessert. <laughs> I think it's just honor system at the moment. We've come out here to grab a couple of pool towels for tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like you just fill out the log book and grab a couple of towels. Yeah, we got a little bit of wave action happening here in the pool. That is one thing I've noticed is that like you are gonna get some motion on this ship, it seems it's like. Not that bad. Well, it's not terrible. Yeah, but I noticed like we were still in the harbor. Like you were dancing away there at the deck party and we were still in the harbor and I could see the horizon bopping up and down. So I could tell that like you're gonna get more motion on this ship than probably yeah, ships were used to. Doing I don't either is the funny thing, but I mean if the right, if the water's moving that much, it could probably make some people sensitive. So interesting to note that it is definitely Rihanna will tell you it is a motion prone ship. <laughs> oh, we're making our way into the Legends Grand Theater for showtime. My name is Victoria. I come to you all the way from tropical Toronto, Canada. We've got a fantastic show for you this evening. Before we get started, though, I do have somebody very special who's come to say hello to you. I am the comedian for this cruise. I have a show tomorrow, again, at 1045. I'm selling tickets. Please put your hands together and welcome to the stage the Grand Celebration Singers and Dancers in their brand new production show, Paradise Heat! <laughs> very much everybody for coming of course the night is just getting started lots and lots and lots going on for you all across deck nine we've got live music in the regal room on deck nine after we have our very own latino duo if you'd like to have a fiesta latina please do go and see them they're a really really great time at 10 30 up at the plunge pool on deck 10 we have our karaoke power hour who likes to sing loud and proud <laughs> the five of you will have a fabulous time. <laughs> no, seriously, it's a great time of a karaoke. At 1045, please join us in the Encore Lounge up here on Deck 9 for our glow party. Always a great time. A little surprise from our singers and dancers as well. Of course, the shops are open. The casino is open. The photo gallery is open. So go on, everybody. Get out there. Get involved. Enjoy yourselves. Have the time of your lives. Thank you for being here. I am Victoria. You guys are awesome. Have a great time, everybody. Drive safe. There's an orange bathing suit that goes with my orange hat. Wow. Are you yawning back there? Stop it. We're having all the fun right now. Do we have at least three couples?
dance on in there. But I think we're gonna head up to the Luna deck and check out late night snacks. You know, we're checking out all the food. But we got one of those foam uh, glow dudes, which this is like the kind they give away on the ships now that aren't using plastic, you know, that kind of thing. You push a button, lights up, yeah. Well, I like at least on this version near the bathrooms, they've actually tried to like white out the incorrect names of the decks, so they tried. So we still have bread happening. Oh, we got cookies, and I guess those some kind of cakes. Oh man, so they got a taco bar, chili con carne, quesadillas, tortilla chips, and a whole mess of toppings. Oh, they got some sandwiches down here too. What kind of sandwiches we working with? I don't know. Tomato? Cheese? Sure. So we did not need a bite of that. So we're gonna head back out here to the pool area. The karaoke is not very happening, but there are people looking at the book, so who knows. And they've got the fancy hamburger place set up over there, I guess, for dinner, just like they had the pizzeria set up inside for like those pay options. So that must be more of a dinner thing. And it looks like they converted the lunch grill into the place where they actually cook the fancy hamburgers, so that makes sense. say Monday anymore. Well, because it's, um, it's almost Tuesday. It's Monday. It's 1130. Hey, there's some food in the hole. Yum. We're on an adventure with Dee to go back to the cabin. She is getting us to 152. As you can see, here's 101, 105. Oh my gosh. Can't, oh, you're on the odd hull. Well, you know you can cut through up here. Just cut through up here. I figured we were on an adventure. I figured we were going. Out. I was just waiting until you were able to find 152 on the odd hall. Cut, cut, just cut, cut, just cut, cut. Don't talk to me. <laughs> there she goes. Look, now we're on the even hall. 122, 24. She's, she can't press the button. She's fitting to punch me. She could be loud. Right in the face. Wow, 152. That's right. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Good night. Look, you're on the wrong side. I finally did it right, so you're on the wrong side now. 11.36. It is 11.36, and we have partied. I feel like we have done um, all the a stuff lot. and all the things mm -hmm. on this here ship. Other than listening to music randomly at like different locations. Yeah, I mean, we kind of heard the piano dude, and we got to go to the Latin club still, but... Yeah. Anyway, we are going to bed because we are in Freeport tomorrow. We have booked an excursion through the ship, but we'll get into that tomorrow. I'm already asleep. I know. <laughs> so I guess we are going to bed. Hopefully yeah. you had fun with us on our first day aboard the Grand Celebration. We had fun. We have one more full day to go. That's crazy. And then we're back to West Palm Beach. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Well. But it's fun. It really is. Yeah. Um, any other final words before we shut down day one? The food's been really good. It really the has. Staff has all been really friendly and amazing. Get involved, guys. Mm. I say this a lot, but like especially on a smaller ship like this, when there's not people clamoring to like get into everything. Yeah, there's like 500 people on this whole ship. Or yeah, something. I mean, you can definitely, if they ask you to volunteer, just just do it. See what happens. It's fun. Mm. Um, we we've, we've been in like several things Did today. Did you spit all over? <laughs> we've been in several things we today did. alone, just because we're like, okay, why not? Mm. So, and it's been really fun. I think it's made the day better. True. Yeah, Truthfully. but this ship is not nearly full. It's at like a third capacity or something. I kind of like it after fun. just getting off a very large ship. This That's is true. a nice change. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to bed. Mm -hmm. So we'll see y'all tomorrow yep. from Freeport. We're excited. We haven't been back to Freeport in forever. It's been a while. Yeah. So good night for now. Good night. We love you. Bye. Bye.